Our executive chairman, Sim McGill, he would be fine with me sharing this story. His mom died of Parkinson's. His mom and his dad were both clinicians, and he lived with her during those final years. In the last three years of her life, where her symptoms couldn't be controlled, were definitely something that he joined the mission because he didn't want to see patients like his mom not have the very best innovation to help with that quality of life issue. As you know, most drug development is focused on what they called disease modifying therapies, right? Cures, something that will just cure the disease. Neurodegeneration doesn't work like that. It isn't that easy. And so there hasn't been a lot of focus or as much focused on quality of life therapeutics that dramatically improve the quality of life of a patient. So when we think about what we get excited about in the morning, it is largely that. And going back to how apomorphine was found, those investors in Shearwater and Serena, one of the large investors had a significant history of Parkinson's in their family and multiple family members diagnosed and passed away. And so there's a whole category of disease philanthropists out there because of the impact it's had on their families. And Serena basically started looking for a Parkinson's molecule because of that connection. And this is now, of course, Serena is well-resourced with commercial translation talent and funding, and we have a full-blown discovery engine to find molecules that could benefit from a posylated, long-acting approach. But that was the start of the company. In many respects, it's still a family with those kind of connections between the chemist and those early investors who, for the most part, are all still investors 13 years later. So it's a pretty extraordinary story.